I recently spoke to legendary GS Pro golf course designer Tech Bud, and I don't really know much about LiDAR. So I wanted to find out a bit more. That's not bad. <laughs> For the people out there who are thinking, what the hell is LiDAR? Can you just um, give it a very brief explanation for us, please? Yeah, I mean, imagine like a drone, you know, that flies over a golf course and maps out the underlying terrain. So it's shooting like, like a radar down to the ground and then getting that feedback and creating all of the elevation changes within the course. You know, I've heard of LiDAR down to like five centimeters. And if you can get to that point, you know, every break on every green is going to be accurate without you having to really touch anything, which that's, you know, that's the best, right? Is you get really good liar and you don't have to go back in and modify any of the elevations. You can just worry about what gets placed on top. Uh, most of that's provided by the government and the U.S. is way ahead of everywhere else. Um, the U.K., well, England is is pretty good but like areas like uh ireland there's just nothing there's no lidar at all and that's why you basically don't see you know any courses from that area i think eight like basically asia is a big zero like no lidar whatsoever um so i get i get asked a lot like can you make me this course in bulgaria there's actually an amazing course in bulgaria like right on the cliffs i forget the name of it right I lost it right now but it looks amazing, but I wouldn't even attempt to try to build something like that without really good LiDAR. And who knows when that will be available for spots like that. So it's it, I, I'm assuming it's just like a load of data that you can input into the software and then you can just start putting your fairways, your greens, your pins mm -hmm. and tees and everything on top of that. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, you're kind of layering. You're layering the pieces on top of the original terrain.